exactly one year ago I showed you this special edition of The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. It's hardcover. It comes in this slipcase and it's illustrated. It has a bunch of other goodies. After watching Rings of Power on Prime, which I loved, by the way, I knew I wanted to get the Silmarillion. And they came out with this. It's a matching edition. <sighs> Look at that. It's so pretty. You just need the Hobbit now. This one is blue. Same exact kind of thing. Hardcover book. Slipcase. the cutout right here so you can see the design. See? But out for now. So pretty. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with a friend of mine. We're both very much into the Lord of the Rings the universe. We thought, let's do a buddy read and <laughs> encourage each other to get through it because it's a lot of info dumping. This is kind of like his history book that adds things to the universe he'd already created. Also, it was published after he died. His son actually had to look at all of his notes and put them together for publication, which is not an easy task. So, you know, Tolkien didn't have a hand in the finished product. Even though I haven't read it, I'm sure his son did the best that he could, and I'm very excited to go through it and read all these extra historical facts and stories. Here's the info card real quick that tells you what comes in this package. The Silmarillion is an account of the elder days of the first age of Tolkien's world. It is the ancient drama to which the characters in The Lord of the Rings look back and in whose events some of them, such as Elrond and Galadriel, took part. The tales of the Silmarillion are set in an age when Morgoth, the first Dark Lord, dwelt in Middle-earth, and the elves made war upon him for the recovery of the Silmarils, the jewels containing the last remaining pure light of Valinor. That's probably a much better description than what I just tried to tell you. Just like the Lord of the Rings edition, I purchased this from Amazon UK. It's super easy to do. You log in with the same information you use for the US Amazon website. These are the prices as of November 22nd, $39 on Amazon US for the illustrated edition without a slipcover, $82.09 on Amazon UK for the deluxe edition, approximately $97.53 in US dollars. Now we're going to add shipping. Between $42.41 and $48.92 on Amazon US for the illustrated edition without the slipcover. The total depending on whether or not you receive a free shipping offer. $107 on Amazon UK for the deluxe edition, 
11857 in U.S. dollars. Oh, one came with a frayed bookmark. It's okay. That's easy to fix. You just take a match and burn the ends. Learned that with point shoes in dance school. We have this art print. Halls of Manwe? Manwe? <laughs> I'm not sure how you say that. Ooh, we have a map. There we go. This is literally like hand drawn, it looks like. There's like notes on it in different colored pencils. See that? There's even some faint pencil marks, like they were either erased or just got lighter over time. That's cool. I like that. So apparently this is not the only map. So let's go to the back. Aha. Okay, I'm guessing... Is this the one that... Yeah. Okay, this is the color map that Tolkien, um, sorry, that Christopher Tolkien made. This is really pretty. It's a lot of greens and yellows, some red and blue. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as I can. Not easy on a bed. So pretty. All right, let's dive into the actual book. The Silmarillion. The table of Contents. And then here's a table of contents for the illustrations. And apparently there is 50 of them. I don't remember how many were in the Lord of the Rings. The foreword by Christopher Tolkien, preface to the second edition, also by Christopher. This is from a letter by J.R.R. Tolkien to Milton Waldman in 1951. It's a very long letter. Note on the illustrations. Oh my goodness. 
And we have our first illustration. This is Hills of the Morning. Page two, the Tale of the Years manuscript title page. That's going to focus. Page nine. The world from Newman West to Roman East. Looks like an eye. Is that purposeful? <laughs> Not sure. Page twenty one. Page twenty three. Page twenty five. The world about VY five hundred after the fall of the Lamps, Helcar, and Ringill and the first fortification of the north by Melko. Probably butchered every single one of those names. So sorry. Just don't know how to pronounce all of this stuff. Page 27, Tanaki. Ooh, I don't know. This one's pretty. Look at that. Page 31. Page 36. Page 45, page 47, page 51, The Shores of Fairy. This one's pretty, very colorful. Page 53, page 57, page 67 is the same illustration as that print or card that we looked at. The Halls of Man We or Man Way. How do you say that? Sorry for butchering it. The little boat. Page 68. Page 81. I really like this one. How pretty. Page 88. Page 93. Is that a hand at the bottom or blood? Did 
Show me here. Looks very ominous though. Page 99, Mithrim. Page 105, Nargo Thrones. I said that one right. I don't know. Ooh, this one. Page 108. Page 111, this actually looks like part of the map from the Lord of the Rings edition because that map was black, red, and white. Page 116. Page 121, untitled, parentheses, Nargothrond. Page 125, untitled parentheses, Freeze of Trees. That's how you pronounce that, right? Freeze? Ooh. Let's see. Like the colors in this one. So pretty. One thirty one one forty one. I don't know why, but this one looks gross to me. <laughs> it's just grossing me out. Page one forty nine. Toll. Syrian, the Veil vale of Syrian, or Syrian, perhaps. Not quite sure. This one's pretty. It's a little castle. I like this one. Might be one of my favorites. Reminds me of fairy tale movies that open with a beautiful landscape and then you see the castle in the midst of it all. Page 161, Nargothrond again. I like this one too. Got muted colors with dark shadows. Page 178. Page 188. Page 191. Part of the Tale of Turin, written in the Rumelian alphabet. A script invented and used by the elves only in Valinor. 199 Torna Huin <laughs> Parentheses Fangorn Forest. Let's just stick with Fangorn Forest. No idea how to say the first part. This actually looks like an illustration 
from the Lord of the Rings. And I really like this one. I don't know. There's something about the different shades of colors, purples, blacks, grays, a little bit of green, some browns. Just really like it. And then all the twisted tree roots. Do you see him? He's like a little hobbit. Page 205, Glorund sets forth to seek Turin. I think that's how you say it. I don't know who Glorund is, but I'm thinking it's that creature in the middle who looks like a dragon. Page 231, Gondolin and the Veil of Tumladen from Chris Torn or Chris Thorn, whichever way you say it. Is that a little kingdom? I can't tell. Look at the colors in this one. I keep saying that about every single one. I like this one. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. They're just all my favorite. Page 235, Water, Wind, and Sand. This one looks like some kind of abstract painting. You know, like. I can't even think of anybody. Like Dolly? <laughs> I don't know. It's very interesting and unique. But I don't hate it, you know? Page 235. I don't think this is a repeat. I think there might have been a similar one, but I think we haven't seen this one yet. Okay, we have page 244. We have page 245. Lots of colors in this one. Make sure you can see them all. And then page... What are we on? 8, 7, 6, 246. Yeah. Numenor. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the book with my legs. I can zoom in for you. Not an easy task. Right next to that, page 247. Another little illustration. It's a little tree with stars. So pretty. Page 269, which looks like a carpet. And turns out it is a carpet. <laughs> Numenorian carpet. Nailed it. Look how pretty it is. Whoops. Sorry. Next page, 268. You have another version. Of a Numenorian carpet, Numenorian carpet two. I guess you can never have enough, right? So pretty. Page seventy one. This should look familiar, right? It's the front of the Lord of the Rings special edition. Page two seventy three. This one's pretty. Page 275, untitled, parentheses, Mountain Landscape. Okay. 
page 281, Mordor. See it? Erupting. Pretty sure that's Mount Doom, right? Page 291, Baradur. Should be rolling my R's more, huh? <laughs> this one kind of looks familiar too, but I suppose since we're in the um, Third Age slash Lord of the Rings section of the book, maybe some of these are repeats now from that edition. 293. Starting on page 295, we have some genealogy things. Uh, we have this first page. Second page. Third page. Got it. This fourth page, which is four and five, apparently. And we've got this fifth page. Then we've got this on page three hundred. I'm sure I'm supposed to know what this is, but I don't. Page 346. I like this one a lot. The colors. The greens, the beige, and the pops of pink. Last, we have page 358. The last thing I'll show you is this little booklet, A Brief Account of the Book and Its Making by Christopher Tolkien. Some of the illustrations from the book in it. pages and I'm excited to read it and hear about what it was like for Christopher to go in and finish what his father had started. Here is what the books look like side by side. So pretty. Please let me know if you plan on buying either of these editions. Do you own both of them? I highly recommend both editions. They are so gorgeous on my bookshelves. I'm so excited to dive into the Silmarillion because I've never read it before. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. Click the link in the description box to become a patron and financially support future content. There are 10 tiers to choose from, something for every budget. My comment section is always open for a chat and or video suggestions from you. I will see you in my next video. Bye!